Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss about gravitational potential energy. Now before going to this topic, let us discuss what is gravitational field. I hope all of you are familiar with the term magnetic field. We have studied about magnets in 10th standard. So magnetic field, what is a magnetic field? If you have a magnet and you bring a nail, so if you place the nail somewhere close to the magnet, definitely the magnet will attract the iron nail. But if the nail is kept far away from the magnet, will it attract? Definitely no. Why? Because each magnet is having a region around it where the force of the magnet can be experienced by the object placed there. Similarly, we all know every object in the universe attracts each other with the force of attraction. It is known by the name gravitational force. So, which means every object is having a region around it where the gravitational force can be experienced by another object placed there and this field is what we call gravitational field. So gravitational field, it is a region around an object where the gravitational force of attraction can be experienced. Now if you take the case of earth, earth is also having a gravitational field and any object which is placed within this gravitational field of earth will be attracted towards the center of the earth. So now we are going to derive an expression for gravitational potential energy. So what is gravitational potential energy? We understood what is gravitational field. It is a region around the object where the gravitational force can be experienced by another object placed there. So what is gravitational potential energy? Now, if there are two objects which are placed at a particular distance, definitely there will be a force of attraction between them. So there is a force or it possesses a kind of potential energy. Now, if you take an object, that object will be having a region around it where the field of force of attraction can be experienced. And I have kept another object close to it. Now, if I want to take this object away from the gravitational field, of the first object what I have to do, I have to do some work. Similarly, if I want to bring an object from a distance to the field of another also I have to do some work which means it was, some work has to be done and this work is stored as potential energy. In our case it is known as gravitational potential energy. So gravitational potential energy is defined as amount of work done in bringing an object from a faraway place we consider it as infinity from infinity to a point in the gravitational field of another object. So it is the amount of work done in bringing an object from infinity from a far away point to the field of another object. So let us derive the expression for gravitational potential energy. For that, we consider earth to be a sphere, perfect sphere of mass m and radius r. This line denotes the center portion of the earth, okay. This is the center of the earth, okay. And r is the distance from the center of the earth to the surface. Now imagine a point P, okay. This point is at a distance small letter r from the center of the earth. Point P is at a distance small letter r from the center of the earth 
and we wish to find out what is the value of gravitational potential energy at point P. For that what we do is we consider another point, point A. Okay. Now this point A is at a distance x from the center of the earth. So, now we have point P and point A. Point P is at a distance small at r from the center of the earth and A is at a distance x from the center of the earth where we assume the object is placed. Object of mass m small at m is placed. Okay? And what we do is from point A to a point B which is at a distance dx from A I am going to move the object which means I am going to do some work. I am going to find out what is the amount of work done in displacing the object from point A to point B. So, I got the small amount of work done. But what is my aim? My aim is to bring my object actually from infinity to point P. Find out what is the potential energy there. So, we got the small amount of work done in bringing the object from point A to point B. Then how will we find out total work done? Yes, we integrate. We integrate from infinity to point of observation that is P and find out the total work done. This is the steps which we are going to do. Okay. So, first we have imagine the object is placed at point A. So, the gravitational force of attraction between the object of mass small letter m at point A and earth of mass capital M is given by F is equal to G m m by distance from the center of the earth to point A is x so divided by x square this equation 1. Now, what is my next step? I am going to move the object from point A to point B. For that I am going to do a small amount of work. So, amount of work done in bringing the object from point A to point B which is at a distance dx from A is you know the equation for find out, finding out the work done is W is equal to F dot S in our case the object force of attraction towards the center object is also being moved from in the same direction which means theta is equal to 0 degree hence we can write w is equal to f as in our case it is what small amount of work done so dw is equal to f dx since theta is equal to 0 degree now we are going to substitute the value of f from equation 1 so from equation 1 we get dw is equal to g m m divided by x square dx. So, I got a, what is the amount of work done for moving the body through a small distance dx from point A to point B. But what is my aim? My aim is to find out what is the amount of work done in bringing the body from infinity to point P. Now, where is point P situated? Point P is situated actually at a distance small at r from the center of the earth. So, therefore, total work done in bringing the object from 
infinity that is x equals infinity to point p that is x is equal to r is w is equal to integral from where where is my initial point the object is now at infinity so initial point is infinity to where I am bringing to point p at a distance r so inf integral from infinity to r dw which is equal to integral from infinity to r g m m by x square dx which means we are integrating with respect to x the distance so we know capital letter g small letter m and capital letter m are all constants so we can bring it outside the integral sign we get w is equal to g m m integral of 1 by x square dx the limit infinity to r and what is integral of x raised to n dx equation this x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 so we get integral of 1 by x square dx is equal to x raised to minus 1 by minus 1 which can be written as g m m by minus 1 by x the limit infinity to r now how will we apply the limit it is always low upper limit minus lower limit so the equation can be written as W is equal to G M M into upper limit that is 1 by instead of x what we have to do I have write R minus 1 by lower limit that is infinity. Now any number by infinity is 0 so this term becomes 0 we get the final equation as W is equal to minus G M M divided by r and this work is stored as potential energy so we can write gravitational potential energy u is equal to minus g m m divided by r this is the equation to find out gravitational potential energy of an object placed at a particular point in the field of the other now if you look in this equation there is a negative sign here isn't it and the negative sign indicates that gravitational potential energy is due to the attraction between options so we can say gravitational potential energy is attractive okay so what we did first we kept an object our aim is to find out the potential energy at point p for that we kept an object at point a we found out what is the amount of work done in bringing the object from point a to point b we got dw then to find out the total work done in bringing the object from infinity to the particular point p what we did is we did integration and we got the equation as of gravitational potential energy as g is equal to minus g m m by r square <coughs> sorry g m m by r next we are going to uh, see what is gravitational potential actually there is a slight variation in the definition of gravitational potential energy and gravitational potential and it is denoted by the letter V now gravitational potential is defined as the amount of work done in bringing a unit mass the body having unit mass that is the difference unit mass in bringing a body in bringing a unit mass from 
infinity to the point. The one was the amount of work done in bringing a body from infinity to a point, but gravitational potential is amount of work done in bringing a body having unit mass from infinity to a point, and is noted by V is equal to work done by U M. So, the equation to find equation to, uh, for work done in bringing an object from infinity is W is equal to minus G M M divided by r so substituting the value of w in the above equation we get v is equal to minus g m m by r by sorry g m m by r divided by m so we get V is equal to minus G capital M by small letter R. This is the equation to find the gravitational potential. So next we are going to write the relation between gravitational potential energy Gravitational potential. That is relation between U and V. We know the equation for gravitational potential energy is U is equal to minus G mm by R. An equation to find gravitational potential is V is equal to minus G m by R. So, if we compare the above two equation, we can write gravitational potential energy U is equal to gravitational potential into mass of the object. U is equal to V into M. 